In this video, we're going to just quickly review the composition of functions, which you already know from calculus because you know the chain rule. Definition. Suppose f from a into b and g from c into d are functions such that b is a subset of c. Then the composition is well defined. of f with g is g composed with f from a into d uh, and it's defined as x is going to be sent to g of f of x So the picture is, we've got A sitting over here. We've got C over here. We've got D over here. And we've got B sitting in C. So this is B. Well, F goes from A to B. and G goes from C to D. And so when I compose these I'll get F composed with G going from A to D and I ignore this intermediate space essentially. So what's nice about that well it shows up a lot of the time and we have a theorem Suppose we have f from rk into rm, and it's continuous at x in rk, and g from rm into rn is continuous at f of x in rm then g composed with f from rk into rn is continuous at x. Right, so it basically says that if I, I compose two continuous functions in this way, I get another continuous function, which is a, another nice thing. So let y equal f of x. So the proof is pretty simple and yk equal f of xk where xk is any sequence going to x in the limit then then we know that yk is approaching y so that means that g of y or g of yk is going to approach g of y. That's it, right? Because we know it's continuous at this point y, right? So yk was in, was some sequence. We know we defined it in a, in a particular way, but it's some sequence approaching y. So we know that this happens, right? Well, now we just substitute. So g of f of xk approaches g of f of x. Right, just by substituting in what we did for y, k, and y. So we're done. That's the proof. It was really simple. So that was great, and it's good to get some examples under our belt. So example, let's have a function f from r into r2 and g from r2 into r and let's say that f of x is equal to the cosine of x 
in the first coordinate or the first component and sine x in the second component and let's suppose that g of x comma y is equal to x squared plus y squared and then let's compose these two functions I've got g of f of x for any x is going to be equal to g of I just plug in what x was cosine x sine x which is equal to now I apply my definition for the function that's cosine squared x plus sine squared x and that's always equal to 1 right so my composition function g composed with f of any x is just the constant 1 function pretty neat right um, how about h or let's let's do another example f from r into r and how about g from r less zero into r well we can define f of x as x, the exponential function of x, or e to the x, and g of x is equal to the log of x, right? Well, normally, this set is not a subset of this, but we know that the image of this guy is actually, so this, this actually maps on to 0, comma, infinity. So this is a subset of that, and so this composition will be well-defined. And we have g of f of x is just equal to g of x of x, which is equal to the log of x of x. And of course, these cancel each other out by definition. So this gives you just x back. And of course, I'm assuming that this is log base e. And we conclude that these guys are inverses.